We're often told that sugar is bad for us, but it's one of those inconvenient truths that we tend to ignore. Choosing instead to let our cravings get the better of us. So what actually happens in our body when we eat sugar? And what impact is this having long term? Foods containing large amounts of processed sugar get broken down into glucose in the body. And it's not just sugary treats. Processed carbohydrates like white bread and pizza have the exact same response in the body. Once this glucose enters the bloodstream, the pancreas detects this change and starts producing insulin. Insulin is a hormone that helps regulate your blood sugar levels. Think of it like a key that travels around your bloodstream and fits into the insulin receptors on your cells, signaling the cells to open and allow the glucose in. The cells then convert that glucose into energy. This is what gives you that sugar rush 10 minutes after eating. But your cells can only produce energy at a certain rate. So once they've had enough, they tell the insulin they're full and won't take in any more glucose. And we all know what happens 20 minutes after a sugar rush. Because the cells aren't taking in any glucose, all the excess glucose has to find another place to go. First, the glucose gets stored in the liver and muscle as glycogen. This is basically just stored energy. But your liver and muscles can only hold so much and they quickly get filled up. The only place left for the glucose to go is in your fat cells. Fat can store a lot more glucose. The majority of this fat buildup will first appear around the belly. Put simply, high blood sugar levels over a long period of time lead to an increase of fat on your body. So what are high blood sugar levels? An average level of blood sugar is one teaspoon of sugar per all of your blood. Your body is able to convert this amount of glucose into energy at a steady rate. But the average American is consuming around 31 teaspoons of sugar a day. Sustained high blood sugar levels can lead to some serious health issues. With all the extra glucose in your blood, your pancreas overproduces insulin. As a result of too much glucose and insulin traveling through your bloodstream, your insulin receptors can get damaged, meaning your cells won't be able to convert the glucose into energy. This is called insulin resistance. It leaves you feeling tired and hungry throughout the day. What's the thing you crave most when you're feeling tired and hungry? More sugar. And so the cycle continues. You eat more sugar to make yourself feel energized, but it ends up worsening the problem, increasing the amount of fat in your body, lowering your energy levels, and making you hungry for, you guessed it, more sugar. It's estimated that one in three Americans have insulin resistance, with the numbers increasing to one in two for the over 60s. And because it is so common, many people don't even realize that they have it. After a while, the excess fat starts clogging up your bloodstream and building up on your organs, leading to all kinds of health problems. Fat builds up on the pancreas, which is already working in overdrive, and can bring about anything from diabetes to pancreatic cancer. Fat building up around the liver quickly causes fatty liver disease. This affects up to 25% of American adults. Fat buildup around the heart opens the door to much more serious complications, heart disease being one of the worst outcomes. Excess fat clogs up the small capillaries around the eye, leading to blurred vision, or in severe cases, blindness. Brain fog, poor memory, and perhaps the scariest of all, we're now seeing the increasing link between sugar and degenerative brain diseases like Alzheimer's and dementia. That's just on the inside of your body. Poor skin, bags under your eyes, and feeling constantly tired are everyday signs of frequent sugar consumption. So why do we keep going back to sugar, even though we know it's bad for us? Well, brain scans have shown that sugar lights up the brain's dopamine receptors eight times more than cocaine. If you combine this with the fact that over 75% of all supermarket products contain some form of processed sugar, it's no wonder why we're seeing things like obesity, cancer, and diabetes on the rise. Here's the thing. Many people don't address their eating habits until it's too late, because sugar may not kill you over one meal, but it will over thousands of them. With the amount of sugar the average person is consuming each and every day, with many people saying they can't even remember a time where they went a week without sugar, many of us are going down a dangerous path. Reducing your sugar consumption can be hard. Sugar cravings can hold you hostage, especially when it seems impossible to escape the temptations around you.
We know how easy it is to jump on board the train to Sugar City. Which is why on board the Sweet Freedom train, we offer an alternative. It's not about giving up sugar all at once. We give you the tools and strategies to create a healthy balance where you're in control and sugar doesn't control you. At Sweet Freedom, we're building a community, a movement. We believe that by sharing the journey, supporting and inspiring each other every step of the way, together we can say goodbye to a life of uncontrollable cravings, low energy and health issues, and instead move towards real food, real life, and real joy in a place we like to call Sweet Freedom. Visit SweetFreedomLife.com to start your journey today.